Hey guys, how are we doing today? My name is Roger and welcome to a new video. And for today's video is going to be the FIM Speedway Grand Prix 2015. And yes, guys, we are back on my second channel, and this will be my brand new series. And uh, before I get into it, I just thought that you guys know on you know basically just 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 certain things that I just wanted to basically just say to you guys. I'm a massive Speedway fan, so I kind of know the ins and outs of Speedway anyway. And uh, this is my first ever Speedway game I actually ever played. And uh, also, I'm a massive fan of speed like I just said and I am a Swindon Robins fan um, but we will be going into this right now um, I will probably do a season on medium and then do a second season on hard just to see how well we do um, and uh, hopefully uh, we can get into it but our main kind of pick really is who we are gonna pick now uh, I did say I am a you know uh, you know a Swindon Robins fan so I'm going to go for Jason Dora, obviously our number one uh, rider, so I'm going to go for him. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to show you like any like cutscenes or anything, because I don't really want to get any copyright bollocks. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go straight into this, and I'll see you for the first round in just a second. So then guys, uh, our first round is in Poland, and uh, of course we're going to just basically just, just see what we got. We got 1,750 virtual coins, I believe it's virtual coins anyway. Um, but, you know, I'm just going to basically just go and, and just, you know, just see what we can do. Um, I wasn't, I was going to plan to get the second engine, um, which I think I might actually do because, you know, the main aim, well, I don't really want to use the first one. Um, and, yeah, I think I'm going to go for uh, the second engine for this one. And uh, that's all I'm really going to change. So let's go into it in Poland. Let's go. Okay then, so as you guys can see here, um, you know, we're going to go straight into it. So uh, we're going to go skip to our heat, which is heat 2. And we are in the white helmet colour with uh, Andreas Johnson, Chris Harris and Matty Zegar. So let's go straight into this, guys. And um, let's just see, uh, if, just, just, just check in to see if I've actually got that engine on. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to change anything with this at all. I'm going to keep it the same and hopefully we can get off to a good start. And uh, yeah, let's go. And uh, so it, it should be it should be a fun series to do. Um, I've never done a speedway series ever. Uh, I don't think many guys, well, many of the people I, I speak to really um, know that I'm a, I'm a speedway fan. And uh, yeah, I wanted to do this because it's just it's just fun, isn't it? Really. So we're gonna go straight to it, into it, and here we go. I don't actually have no game sound as well, so I need to kind of probably put game sound on it as I as in I can hear it because I'm better. And making starts with the game sound on but as you can see right now we're not really in the best, best position but we're going to go straight into the cut into the inside and we are third uh, with Andrea Johnson in first place but we're going to just take on Chris Harris and we actually do make it into first place but uh, uh, Chris Harris again going to cut back in on the inside and see if I can try and go on the outside but it's not actually going to work in my favour yet and uh, I'll take a second place right now but I obviously want to get the first place and then we do a really really good corner there and we are in the lead here and uh, we're gonna just get basically just cut into the inside because the inside is gonna work for us, I think. And um, you know, hopefully we can kind of build on this and uh, try and get away a little bit. And it looks like we are. We are in the final corner. Can we make a good corner out of it? it looks like we are going to, and we are gonna win our first heat in the Speedway Grand Prix, 52.92 seconds. Obviously, my best time is 49.68, so obviously a lot of work to be done yet. But we do get the three points on the board, and that's exactly what we want. And, uh, you know, we've, obviously, we, if, if we can win, the, you know, the first ever Grand Prix in the first episode, that'd be great. But we're in Heat 6 now, and we are on the outside with uh, Chris with Kasprzak, Bachelor, and Yarek Hampel. Um, so uh, we're going to just go and check here in just a second. Uh, I'm not going to change my tyres for this one. A lot of people uh, may, may do. I personally don't. I always go for, like, the first, third, fifth, and then I will change both if I actually get into the semi-final and the final. Um, that's how I kind of like to work things, um, but that's just me. But uh, Heat 6 then, Doyle on the outside. Like I said, I really do need to put my headphones in, and I haven't yet, but hopefully we can get a good start. We did make a good start. We was very, very close then. Like, we were rolling then, um, but we are on the outside. But uh, we did make a good start, but Kasprzak is in first place. Bachelor's coming on the inside here, but we're going to try and take Kasprzak round the outside if we can. And he has left us no room, and then we've left Bachelor far too much room there. But we're going to go and cut in between the two, and we actually got into first place again. But it's very, very good action so far. 
You know, Bachelor is holding that inside line very, very well. We just need to kind of capitalise and see if we can try and pip him on the inside. And we have done this time. And hopefully now we can kind of settle into the race. But again, Bachelor is coming on the inside once again. He's took us far wide there. We've got to check to see, you know, see if anyone's behind us. Not too much left. But uh, we're on the final lap now. I'm going to go straight back in the inside again. And we're going to make it the inside. Can we do it one more time? Bachelor might go on around the outside. But it looks like we could... Be getting six points out of six, which is exactly what we want. Uh, we were a bit more slower in that race, but then again, tyres, uh, you know, make you slower, I believe. That's how I see it anyway. So we go in, well, we're obviously six points in, two races in. Uh, well, two races in, six points in the bag. Obviously, that's the best we could have got. But Heat 9, we're already in the inside this time with Neil Christian Everson, Greg Hancock, and Michael Yetzman Jensen. And uh, we are going to change the tyres this time. Because, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to just kind of like fiddle with this just a second. Um, because I feel like we could potentially get a little bit better now. Uh, but it looks like the blue helmet colour and the yellow helmet colour are getting the race wins. So, you know, it's good for uh, Jepsen Jensen and Niels, but not for Greg and us, of course. But it doesn't really matter too much because the inside should work on this track anyway regardless because since it's quite a small track the inside is going to work better than it would do the outside but anyway here we go heat 9 can we get off to a good start and I've touched the tapes that's just not really what I wanted really not really what I wanted I'm actually going to have to put my headphones in because I can't actually hear anything it's my own fault I've touched the tapes and uh, that's just not really going to work out in my favour and we've just pretty much just lost points there but, you know, we still got two more races left. It's not, it's not a big deal. Um, Greg wins that with Niels second and Jemsen Jensen third. We touched the tapes. Not a lot we can do about it. But, uh, well, we could have done something about it if I actually put my headphones on. But we're going to go into this now. And the Wolfenden's on 11 points. We're still on six points, obviously. We've still got two races to go. So we can still obviously reach the semis, really. But we are on gate two this time with uh, Thomas H. Jonasson. Magic Yanoski and Wildcard, who, you know, I think they should let you know who the Wildcard is. But we're not going to change tyres, obviously, because we don't need to, because we didn't actually r ride off our, our third race. But we need to get off to a good start in this one, really. And uh, I'm going to bite myself on the ass if I don't actually make a good start here. But here we go, then. Gate 2 should work out in my favour. That's a better start by me, actually. I'll take that. But it was that wild card coming on the outside. Alright then. Alright, that's fine. Can we go back on the inside there? We have done. Let's just take that middle track here. Let's take it. Take it and run with it. There you go. And one more time. Just keep on the inside. It's always going to work out my favour, I think. And especially on this Pacific track. We can't really let them have any much room, honestly. But... We do seem fast, we do seem fast, which is what we wanted. We're going to go into the final lap. We are cruising ahead of, above the rest here. And that's what I want to see, of course. One more attempt here. And there we go. 52.87 seconds. Not bad, not bad. And, uh, you know, nine points. We are obviously qualified into the semi-finals of course but of course I want to get you know some sort of decent pick and uh, we've got Wuffenden, Pettersson, Holder in this one as well so it's going to be very very difficult because Holder needs to really get at least a second place if he wants to qualify for the semis uh, Pettersson and Wuffenden are, have qualified anyway but it's all about if we beat Wuffenden and Pettersson if we can get the better picks in the semi-final not going to change my tyres yet it could be a bit not, not good for me to do that, but this is going to be a very, very tough race for me. We are on the outside gate, which might not work out in my favour, but we've got to try and cut across them and try and get that first bend to kind of avoid it, really. Meh, not really the best start by me. Pettersson's come straight into the outside. Pettersson's actually fallen off. I'll take that. I don't really care. Do you care? I don't care. Um, but uh, that makes it easier for us and Pettersson has qualified anyway but you know not really good for him of course but like, it leaves me a little bit, little bit more room from obviously since no one's on gate 3 which is obviously ideal for me
That's better. At least I can actually so somewhat get across anyway. But either way, if Holder obviously finishes the four laps, looks like he will be going into the semis regardless. But Wuffenden's kind of cruising out, you know, cruising out in front. We're comfortable in second, but a little bit more pace would be nice, but i take second place if I have to. But it looks like we are gaining some momentum on Ty Wuffenden. Alright, okay. Ty's going to keep that inside line. I'm going to have to go on the outside. And it actually has worked in my favour. That's amazing racing there by Jason Doyle. There you go. Let's go. One, 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 one more bend. Here we go then. And it looks like we are going to get the victory, which obviously is ideal. Ah, that's good. That's good. 52.80. I think that's the best lap we've done. The best race we've done. But Wuffenden does get the first pick, of course. But it doesn't really matter for us. Because we will get the first pick in the second semi-final, I believe. Um, so we're going to skip to our heat. And looks like it's going to be Wuffenden. It's got, I'm not too sure who else has gone through there. Um, but we will pick our kind of gate there, I guess. I'm going to pick gate three. I'm going to pick gate three. Could have picked gate two, but it doesn't really matter too much, in, in, in my opinion, anyway. Because uh, I don't really particularly think that actually matters, but... Oh, well, we're going to go into it. I was going to pick gate two, but I had a feeling that it was going to be gate three. It would be better for me. But gate two seemed to work well, I guess. But, oh, well. We've got AJ, KK, and Pettersson. Here we go, then. Semi second semi-final. Can we get off to a good start? We have made a kind of a semi-decent start. Kasper Zach's obviously going to get there first. And that's actually a very, very good start by KK. Andreas Johnson's coming to second place, which is not really what I want. Because I need that second place to actually get into the final. I'm not really looking fast at all, but I, I, I need to get past AJ here. If I can. I, I, I want to get to a final, please, lads. Please. There you go. Okay, so KK took me far too wide there, which is not really what I wanted. I'm, I'm just not. I'm not feeling comfortable at all. I don't know what it is. Can we actually get first place? It looks like we're just going to bump AJ out wide, and we've luckily just got first place. Andreas Johnson and Jason Doyle will look like they're well. They are going to go to the final, which is good for us, and uh, I can't really complain. So we've got Greg Hancock, Ty Wuffenden, and Andreas Johnson, and also myself. I'm going to pick gate two this time because. Why not? I might as well. Um, I'm actually going to change my tyres again. Um, I'm going to try and max out as much as possible. We're in the final. Can't complain. 15 points. Tyres on 15 points as well. So, we, you know, it's going to be it's gonna be one of those hard races, I think. But we've done well so far, apart from touching the tapes. But we've looked quite fast. And I can't really complain. A very, very good start by Jason Doyle. I thought I was actually going to touch the tapes then. But it looks like that's worked out very good for me there. Greg Hancock's actually been disqualified. It looks like he's either gone over the the, the yellow line there. But Ty's come in front. We're sat in second. Not really ideal. But inside line's going to work for me, I think. Like I keep saying, all episode is going to work. I can't let Ty have no room on that inside. But he can always go on the outside because he's probably got a better engine than I have. Ty is very, very close to me here. So i just got to try and keep on my line and not let him dive under me. Who's that? All right, okay. So it looks like they are going to go on the outside there. But I'll just take the inside line because that's going to work for me. And it looks like I am going to win the Polish Grand Prix here in Warsaw. 52.35 seconds. I'll take it. We've won it. Wuffenden second. Andreas Johnson third. Oh, not bad. 18 points from seven rides. We could have actually got a maximum, really, if we didn't actually touch the tapes. But that's just the way it goes, guys. So thank you guys ever so much for watching today's video, guys. Remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll speak to you guys very soon, guys. So guys, have a good day. And goodbye.